Hey friends, today we are hanging out in the Magic Kingdom and we are going to be having a scavenger hunt with 30 people. I am so excited. The Roosevelt's team are down here for MegaCon and we wanted to put together a little team building exercise because half of them have never been to Disney and this is the best way to see a lot of the areas that you would not normally see. So we're going to ride some rides, eat some food and have a cozy Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho, Let's go do this. Here it is, the Great Roosevelt's Magic Kingdom Scavenger Hunt 2024. This is basically a scavenger hunt based off of points. There are teams of five, and whatever team uh, gets the most amount of points combined wins. And it's cool because they're going to get a $250 gift card per team, per person. So each person gets $250. And here are some of the cool like uh, things. The scavenger hunt is actually really fun because, I mean, the way that we're doing is you have teams of five and it's going to be a lot of photos. You're going to have to go around and find these cool places, solve riddles, and take photos. So if you have to go find and get a picture with the orange bird, uh, like if it's a, a group of five, at least four people have to be in the picture. So that way they're all together and it's a team effort and you're not breaking off into side missions and you have three hours and each uh, task is worth the point from like one point to five being very difficult and whatever team has the most amount of points at the end of the day uh each member is going to win a 250 dollars gift card like i think that it just makes it like so much fun welcome to the great roosevelt's magic kingdom scavenger hunt it's going down today <laughs> the teams are broken up by color and uh this is team orange's bags every team has a bag inside it comes with checks mix yo <laughs> what is going on look at this pretzels they got chargers is this a, literally a charger what is that yo i i, I want to be on a team you're on my team yeah, all right team. i'm joining yeah orange team <laughs> because me steve uh andrew and dth put this together we're not going to be able to partake in any of the teams and we're not going to help them maybe a little teasers and maybe i'll throw them off like the path on some things just to make it interesting um, but uh, we're just gonna be basically judging it and making sure they actually do all of the tasks that they need to do uh, but uh, yeah you're gonna see it from our point of view and I'm excited because this is like this is so much fun especially a magic kingdom we are all broken up into teams fractions have been made friendships have been broken it's all on the line now New friendships, new allies. We're gonna win this. Nate's gonna help us win. Nate's gonna help us win. Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> Now that we have our teams and those goodie bags, which are awesome, like I said, checks mix in there, charger, sunblock, everything's there. We're gonna head to the Magic Kingdom. Steve is gonna go over the rules a little bit. Steve is one of the co-founders of Roosevelt's. And like I said, man, he is such a great guy. This whole entire company, I really just feel lucky to even be here with them. And uh, honestly, they become such great friends like family to me so it's great to be able to hang out in the park with so many of them for the first time like it's like these are the things i love okay so thank you for coming once again we put this around. scavenger hunt together to kind of like get everybody connected meet We're new just, people learn about disney make some memories it's gonna be a really great time you're all in groups of uh five people when you find an item on this list you have to take a group photo so there has to be at least four people in the photo that means, you know, if somebody wants to peel off and, like, rest for a second, use the bathroom, get food, that's fine. You can have one person from your team off doing something, but you need four people in the photo or the point doesn't count. Again, prize, everybody gets $250 on the team Visa gift card. Um, I think that's really it. I'm actually going to be at MegaCon Orlando this weekend, Saturday, February 3rd from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. I'll be there doing a meet and greet with the uh, Roosevelt's team. So if you guys are going to be there, come by and say hi. I'd love to see you. And then also, this is going to be the shirt exclusively for that day. It's Island Smiling. Look at it. I don't know if I can make, use my fancy camera to move up or down. Let me see. Oh, I zoomed in. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. We got Team Red, Team Rad, Team Rad. 
What's the team name for Team Orange? Team Sunny D. Team Sunny D. Yo, who we got next? What team is this? Team Black? Team Black. <laughs> team Black. What's the name? Team Black. Team Black Black Knights. The Black Knights. Look at this. Team Purple Haze. <laughs> I love it. Now that we're all broken up in teams and everyone has uh, their uh, little instruction or scavenger uh, hunt manual, uh, we're going to go and hang out now. <laughs> this is important. We're ending right over there at the terrace. It's that area right over there. If you walk there, you'll see signs. We'll meet there. Under the overhang. 3 p.m. We got three hours. 3 p.m. Ready? Great. Okay. <laughs> Get on your way. Let's go. Where are you going first? I'm ready. I don't know. I think we're going to try to get David a haircut. Woo! Go get a haircut. You should get a, That's five points. Get a hidden Mickey, like right here. I mean, there's, yeah. there's the Mickey. Sure. Yo, look at. They're actually dispersing quick. People have plans. Look, they're on the go. Yo, look at. Look at. They're all. They're, they're all strategizing. Yo, this is actually really cool. Like, certain people went different ways. Yeah. There's going to be a unique way that they do it. There's All right. What are we going to do? Are we going to go ride Tron? We're going to go maybe ride Tron. We're going to go to Cantina. What is it called? Skipper's, Skipper's Cantina. Cantina. for lunch. Oh. And uh, maybe ride some, ride some rides. Eat some food. Enjoy the day. Have a, a cozy Cinnabon. Magic Kingdom kind of day. Cinnabon. Oh, yeah. Gaston's. I won't survive without a Cinnabon. Hello? Let's do it. Casey's Corn Dog Nuggets. Maybe. Maybe. This is going to be a good day. We're going to try to track down some of the teams just so we can see how they're doing. But for the most part, we're kind of staying away because I know that they're going to be asking a lot of questions. And some of uh, the uh, tasks on there are like personal things like my favorite ride. Go find Dustin or DTH's name. You know what I mean? Like really cool things. And uh, for certain people that have never been to Disney, it can be challenging. So it makes it actually very exciting and educational because now people are learning so much about the parks and they're going to be able to pass this along like fun facts in Disney and then afterwards they're going to be able to go hang out and do whatever they want can you imagine the first time you came to Disney you just spent two hours literally like researching the whole park and then you go out and explore it's like you get rid of all that lost and confusion time so I think this is kind of like actually worth it to do individual chats for every team yeah and when they submit like a, a scavenger list item, they put the number, that the, the point, and then the item, and then they send the photo, and at the end we're gonna just tally them all. So we have all the photos coming in. All the photos coming in, they're streaming. I gotta see one, yeah, wait, yeah, let me see. It. So, for example, the blue team just completed Casey at that. Oh, they, they got the, the casting, casting agency door. door. Yo, this is great. Yeah, there you go. Wow, they this got is all five so cool. in there. So, so they got the points already. Yeah, already this is going to be good. Yeah, it's so far it's so so far so good. It's working. The paw prints. Team Blue did the paw prints. Team two, Team Blue did the paw prints. Oh, look at that! Can you see it? It's the uh, Lady in the Tramp. I that love is that. So funny. I didn't think anybody would get that one. Now, as everyone is out trying to accomplish their task, uh, me and the uh, judges here are going to go have a nice little lunch at. Skipper Canteen, world famous jungle cuisine. I love this restaurant. For appetizers, we got the secret menu appetizer, which is the cheese bread. And then uh, we got a little fried rice with some shrimpy shrimp. It's nice, look at us in here, just being all cozy. Everyone's running around out there. <laughs> they're, they're, you know, eating cheese bread. We're just like nice and cozy. They're having a great time though. We're having a great time. I know, I'm kind of like, oh, we got a nice ginger ale. <laughs> I feel like, well, cheers, cheers, <laughs> cheers. to the great Roosevelt sca uh, scavenger hunt. <laughs> the food here yeah, at Skipper Canteen is so cans. good. The uh, rice, I got this rice. Best, but... It was so amazing. A little spicy, though. A little spicy rice. And now, yeah. the chicken jerk. Here is my chicken. I, I actually like this chicken a lot. I, I feel like it's advertised as just something plain, tastes like chicken, because it is chicken, but it actually has a lot of flavor. Lunch was amazing, now it's time to head out and check on the teams, see what they're doing. I mean, I'm really rooting for Katie or Scotty, I feel like those two have the upper hand. But Ian, though, Ian's a sleeper, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ian might know. I think early check-in, I would say... 
team might win. Katie, U- yep. Julian's a sleeper. Oh, Julian, really? Julian's an operator. He's, he's going to do well. Well, we'll see. Yeah. Here is a little quick update on some of the photos that they're actually completing. Look at that. I lo- oh, my God. They got a rocking chair. Yo, Shriner got the rocking chair over by Big Thunder Mountain. This is actually amazing. I love all of this. We're going to see if we run into anyone that's doing the scavenger hunt on our way over to Tomorrowland because we also got Tron Lightning Lanes. So we're going to go ride Tron while everyone's trying to complete the scavenger hunt. <laughs> like, we're living it up. Look yeah. at us. I like this. But it's really awesome because, like I said, a lot of the people that are coming, there's a good amount of them that have never been here, right? Yeah, 18 people. 18 people have never been to Disney World, and they're getting to see some of the best parts. I mean, they're going to have, like, an off day where they get to do whatever they want, but, like, this is a great way to actually experience the park and kind of see it for what it is. All right, what's the point update? All right, so we're halfway through, and we have a points update. Team Blue is blowing away the competition right now with 71 points. Oh my lord. In second place is Team Red with 44 points, so they're that far behind. Team Orange is in third place with 43 points. Black with 40 is in fourth place. Navy, fifth place with 32 points. And Purple is very far behind with 23 points. Let's go, Purple. That's the update halfway through. <laughs> we'll see how they... Uh, they still got an hour and a half. Yeah, they got plenty of time. Yeah, this is like the Lions game. You never know. Like, yeah. Purple could fly back and it's be never, blue. You never know. Anybody yeah. could be the Niners. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to find. We got to find some of them now, though. Yeah, let's go on a, a hunt for me. Yeah. We'll do our own scavenger hunt. Let's do a scavenger hunt trying to find them. Oh, hey, how are you? Yeah. I see Team Blue. Oh, Craig is on that team, too. Wow. All right, Team Blue doesn't know it, but they're winning, and they're probably going to win. Team Blue's dominating let's the competition. Let's not let them know that they're winning. All right, let, let's not let them know. Yeah, let's let let's them try to get them that they have to hurry. They're falling. Guys, how you making out? Yeah? All right, I'll, I'll give out any teasers if there's any help. We could try to help you. I like a hint. Oh, John Travolta. What's his favorite I think, ride? I'm, I'm pretty sure the hobby helps, right, or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's What's his favorite ride? Right here. In yeah. This area. In this area. It's not Space Mountain. Okay. Right, you guys know my favorite ride, right? Yeah. has a yeah, lot yeah. to do with my name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see you now. See ya. Wow, you guys got to get some work done. You got this. I believe in you. bunch of different like tasks on there and like I said some of them are like personal like favorites and like also like very puzzling and like trickery right a little, bit. a little trickery so I mean we can give hip we can give out hints or we can throw them off their game <laughs> I would throw them off their game a little bit this is Steve's and uh, DTH's first time riding Tron it's honestly it's such a good ride Oh, there it goes. Whew. And luckily we got the lightning lane. I mean, that is a long, so if you join the virtual queue, like it does, it, you, you get to go on the ride, but you have to wait in this long line. This is a lot, holy moly. I love how this line or this queue is very quick. Like, there's not a long pre-show. It's just right to business. Because they got to keep it moving. Like, this is, like, the busiest attraction in Magic Kingdom at the moment. <laughs> you guys ready to enter the I'm grid? So Light Cycle Run is a thrilling, high-speed roller coaster oh, wow. type ride in the dark. Users be warned. Don't be nervous. You guys got row one. You got this. Your shirts look very nice. Oh, yeah. Very, very Tronny-ish. Time to hop on, guys. Let's do this.
Uh, what did you guys think about your first time on Tron? Uh, I loved it. Amazing, yeah, right? It was really good. It was probably one of the better rides I've been on. Oh, uh, and now I know in that takeoff. Yeah, the takeoff was my favorite part. I honestly, I'm starting to think maybe uh, Team Sunny D is onto something because I know Taylor, it's her, well, it was her birthday, so happy birthday, Taylor. Uh, but uh, Scotty's there. They got the good name and they got the energy. So maybe they, I don't know. I don't know who to root for because everybody is like so passionate about them. They're all excited. So I kind of wish they all win. That would be really cool. Hey. Oh. oh, wait a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop filming me. Whoa, now wait a second here. Where did you come? What is that behind your back there? I'm just I'm just It's not cheating. I'm translating. I'm translating. What's the difference between asking him and somebody that? Let's get a group pick. It's true. Wait, wait. Well, obviously, I was going to see if you need any pointers. Yeah, if you guys need any pointers, they can help. I can't. Yeah, we're talking about Ryan joining yeah. up. Yeah, we got to we got to figure out what happens here once we tally up all the points. The original tally puts team blue very ahead. Yeah, so does. like even it's it with Ryan's off. help, I don't think they're going to win, but if it comes close, I think we need to acknowledge it. We might have to dock some points yeah. for outside help. This is going to be a judging decision here. And does yeah. Ryan show up at the end to collect the prize or something? Like yeah, I don't know. who comes in? where does he come in? Are they going to try to hide it? Send him a check? Like, uh -huh. hey. Did they cut a deal? Like, you know what I mean? I'll give you a, I'll give you a couple extra bucks. You show me where it's at. Check back on episode two. It'll be great. <laughs> Magic 2025, the great Season Roosevelt. Two. It's going to be at Epcot next year. All the drama. <laughs> <laughs> Team Purple is literally in Cinderella Castle at the moment. Team Purple! Team Purple! Hey, Team Purple. How's it going? First of all, we took away We rode Tron. We rode Tron. We did. Right, we'll, we'll get that up. How you guys doing? Haunted Mansion. Okay. Haley took a break to go on Space Mountain. Do you guys need any help? Any tips? Uh, I can give you a hint. Pick a hint to one question. I can try to give you a hint on something. Who rose about in the wild? That was at the, at the exit of Ariel's Yeah! <laughs> yeah that's so One of the things is uh, take a picture with the Roosevelt in the wild. Look at that. Hey, Roosevelt in the wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many points is that? Uh, one. one point. One per, one, per, one per Roosevelt in the wild. One per Roosevelt. Nice! Look at that. We're actually seeing a uh, completion happen in real time. And a baby. <laughs> Honestly, Katie, I thought, because she's like, she likes Disney. I thought she was going to come true, but she actually is just taking it easy. They're they're enjoying the park, not really like, diving in. I think they rode Space Mountain. Yeah, That's did. not even on the list. <laughs> they took a little break. <laughs> yeah, they took a little break. And I kind of respect that. I like it. Uh, dude, Team Red is actually instilling some confidence right really? now. Really? I think they just started very slow in the beginning and maybe... I don't know if they're gonna come back from it. I'm really excited to tally up these points to see how it all played out. It's a little bit busy today. Look at this. Holy moly, why does it seem so crowded in the and hub hot. there? And hot. Oh, we get the parade coming, right? Oh, is it the three o'clock parade? Yeah, parade's coming. Oh, we can't meet here. Oh well oh, we're meeting by gonna no. <laughs> There's gonna be people that are gonna be late. They're gonna have to try to get around the three o'clock parade. Wait, can we like start docking points? I mean, no, I mean, one no. minute? Like every one minute is one point. I'm just gonna send a message and say that. Yo, what a challenge. <laughs> oh, thanks guys. Navy, this is Team Navy. Navy Seals. No, we're Seals. Team Black, but we are technically good at that. See, yeah, you guys are Team Black, but Blue. Oh, the Team Black, but you're Team Navy. Navy Seals. Okay, let's get a Navy Seals. One team did find You guys are trying to find uh, DTH? Well, you only have nine minutes. Nine minutes. It's somewhere in the Haunted Mansion. It's somewhere in the Haunted Mansion. But if you guys make it there and back, we don't make it. In nine minutes. With the parade. With the parade. How many points is that? 
five. It's worth it, but I think someone would have to run. Did they have to take four pictures or one? They had to have four people in it. Four people, four people. I don't think you'd make it. Team Black? Black Knights. The I Black the Knights. First team. We've been here for 20 minutes. Yeah, but how you doing? You guys are completed? I thought you guys, I thought the leads were supposed to be under the... Oh, you guys yeah. like that. Are you guys... We uh, did uh, some... Uh, how you guys do? Did you do pretty good? Yeah. I think so. Yeah? Any last minute ones I can give you, you can probably get some points in if you feel like running. I mean... You uh, confident? Dragon. Where's the dragon? Tomorrowland dragon. Picture dun, dun, with dun. the dragon in Tomorrowland. Oh yeah. Right that there. dragon, yeah. yeah that dragon right Zeke. There. Where is it? Right, right there. Down there. Literally, you can go get it. Easy points, easy points. You got like six minutes. Right there. The dragon is right there in the grass. You can see it from over here, man. The Look at they're going safe right there. Easy points. <laughs> Look at their two teams are going now. Did you guys get the Tomorrowland Dragon? Yeah. It's right behind you. It's right there. To the right. It's in the grass next to the water. Up there a little bit. Dragon you. Tomorrowland Dragon. It's right up there. 50 seconds. Hurry up. 50 seconds. Up a little bit. Up, up. I don't even know. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, you see it. She sees it. <laughs> yeah, but you guys have to take a picture all together, right? That's not how this works, man. I don't even know, I don't even know where It's right was. there. Yo, there's Team Red. Like 30 seconds to spare. 30 seconds to spare. How'd you guys do? Uh, okay. We More than, did okay. 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 I have a headache because yeah. I'm hungry. Feeling, That's how we we happened about people mover. We didn't even, the people we mover? Didn't even eat. Oh, you know, some people decided to just ride rides and then rush for the last 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Participating in the scavenger hunt. Hopefully you had a good time, saw the park. Met some uh, Roosevelts in the wild, made some memories. Um, yeah, I'm glad you all enjoyed it. Everybody took it very seriously. The, the points were flying in, so I thought that was really cool. Um, we are going to total up the points and announce the winner di uh, dinner tonight. And I want to give everybody a rundown of what's next. So you can obviously stay in the park, like you're here. It's a beautiful day, so go explore the park if you want. Or you can kind of do whatever else you want. The rest of the day is open and free. So you can go to the hotel, you can hang at the park, you can kind of do whatever you want. What time do we got to be? So we have to be at the hotel. Yeah, we're going to do dinner at like 8.45, but we're going to meet a little bit before at the hotel. If you want to watch the fireworks from the hotel, it's a great view. So I'm going to probably get there 6, 7 o'clock to watch it. Um, you can watch the fireworks here and then head to dinner over there after. But dinner's at 8.45. Try to get there a little bit early. Not out of the hotel. Not in our hotel, the Polynesian Hotel. It's extremely easy to get there. You walk out here, and then the um, the boat, yeah, the boat or the uh, monorail goes directly there. Oh, you can walk. Yeah, you can walk, but I would say monorail is your best bet. Now that the scavenger hunt is over, we're making our way over to the Polynesian because we have dinner at Ohana tonight, and that's where we're going to announce the winner. And also, we're going to hang out at Trader Sam's, kind of take it all in. This weekend's going to be so much fun. MegaCon is a blast. I hope to see some of you guys there. Like I said, I will be there uh, Friday, oh, Saturday, uh, February 3rd from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. I know I said 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. before, but we had to move it because we have Mosh Isley later on that night, which I will also be 
there and there's still tickets available if you guys are going it's a star wars emo punk party with like so many great people uh so nick from bayside uh ryan uh william ryan k from yellow card and adam from story of the year and then you also have some great creators like the dano channel and uh the uh, princess and scoundrel and also the think the maker podcast so that's going to be a fun after party so i'll put a link for all the description uh in the description if you guys want to buy tickets to that and i hope to see any of you either there or at megacon there's not a better resort to come to after a fun day at magic kingdom right here at the polynesian resort we're gonna go probably hang out maybe grab a drink at trader sam's and then we're gonna watch the fireworks on the beach and dinner at ohana we are taking this very serious. Look at this. We're tallying up all the scores. We're checking the list twice. We're verifying all the pictures. I'm excited. I didn't think it was possible, but we ended up uh, basically uh, getting everybody into Trader Sam's. We've got a nice little section over here, just us four, but look at the squad over on this side here. Oh, sorry, Dom. Look at this. Oh. Look at this, all. Hi, buddy. The whole corner. Look at this guy. Guys, what did you get? I'm excited to see. The Oa. Oh, you got the Oa? Yeah. Did you, did you anger anyone, or? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, right outside, man. It's a, it's a gold machine. It's a that's nice. <laughs> Somebody got a black pearl. Who got the black pearl? They just announced they had a black pearl. Who got it? Dustin's standing up. Look at him. Yo, he is so anxious. No, it's not. For Trader Sam's, it's time to head down to the beach for Happily Ever After. Ready to begin. Let the wonder take hold of the world. Isn't it nice? It's romantic, buddy. It's beautiful. Happily ever. How much longer is this? This is the grand finale. Now that we got to watch Happily Ever After on the beach, and how cool was that? Like, I think a lot of them, like I said, they, they didn't think it was going to be as, as good as the view actually was, uh, but I thought it was great. And now we're going to head up to Ohana, get something to eat, and announce uh, the winner of the scavenger hunt. I have to say, I was pretty spot on in the beginning when I was like, oh yeah, they're crushing it. Like, nobody was even close, and I'm, I'm actually shocked on how much they got done. We made it into Ohana. We literally have like almost this whole entire area over here. Woo! It's crazy. I never thought it was possible. This is so crazy. Woo! This guy's great. I love it. So. Today was great. I don't know how we want to do this, but we worst do have first. one winner that yeah. crushed it today. Worst to first. Worst to first. Worst to first. Yeah, worst to first. Worst to first. We did have a tie. Oh, sorry. Okay. So, Team Purple, thanks for coming out. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I don't know. I know Dad and Jamie. I'm 
before they crushed it in their own way. I hope you guys had a great time. I, Seems like Team Purple did fun. I, I Captain, because she talks so much smack going into this thing. I heard it. I concur with both of them. I heard them say it. So, so tied for next, actually with the same amount of points, which is wild. Uh, Navy and Red. <laughs> wow! So you're not the worst. It was actually very close. So ten points separated Navy and Red from Team Orange. Yeah, yeah. So Team Orange. Um, and then Team Orange. Yeah. And then Team Orange. Now we're at second and third, right? Yeah. So Team Orange. Team Orange. Team third. Separating Within orange from team points. black was just a, a shade of like he, all you had to do was go get like two more golden statues. Uh, was team black. So the winner of today Woo! was team blue. Yeah! Team blue. Yeah! Yeah! Team, team blue blew everybody. Massive. The hustle. Anyway, it was yeah. It wasn't even. It was team blue. We'll, we'll, I'll give the numbers later, but Team Blue beat everybody by like 50%. It was ridiculous. Yeah, it was bad. You guys were asking for hints, and I was like, I'm not giving them hints for anything. <laughs> Time out. I'll let you have the floor because I would like to give a round of applause to Mariana because she could. Yeah. I'm sure the love of things leading to success, but you ripping selfies of your whole team. <laughs> <laughs> we already put all the photos online. Everybody can see them all. They're, they're oh, great. Wow. So Team Blue just was outstanding today. So really great job, Tolly. Stand up. Who's on Team Blue? Yay! Winners! And with that, I think we are done here today. What an amazing adventure. Congratulations to the Blue team. They crushed it. Like, unbelievably and I hope the video came out it seemed like everyone had a great time I had a great time just watching everyone have fun Ohana was great and man it's like I said it's great to be able to meet such a awesome group of people that I get to call friends like it's like honestly it's 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 the best thing you can ask for in life so I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it and uh, hopefully I see some of you at MegaCon uh, Orlando Saturday uh, 11 to 1. Uh, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. So, anywho's, bye!